Hi, welcome to the Corporate Miles Answers for the Numeracy 5 a day for the 21st of March. If you are just looking for a hint for one particular question, have a look at the video numbers now. So if you pause the video and go to corporatemiles.com forward slash contents, you can watch each of these videos and it might give you a hint or might help you answer whichever question or two that you're stuck on. Okay, let's have a look at the answers. So the first question. The first question says, write in words the number that is 8 less than 1002. So we're going to have to find the number that is 8 less than 1002, and then we're going to need to remember to write our answer in words. So there's two ways to this question. First of all, we could do subtraction. So we could do 1000, or we're definitely going to need to do subtraction. We've got 1002, and we're going to take away 8. So two take away eight, we can't do, so we're gonna to need to borrow. Um, we've got a zero and another zero, so we're gonna to need to borrow from the thousand, cross that out, put the 10 there, cross that out and put a nine, put a one there, borrow from the 10, nine, and put a one there. So we've got 12 take away eight, which is four, and then nine take away zero, which is nine, and nine take away zero, which is nine. So the answer is 994. Another way you could have done it is, we had, obviously, we were looking for the number that's eight less than 1002, I personally would have just taken away 10 from 1002 to get 992, and that's 10 less, so I'd add two back on, so adding two back on would give us 994. Now we need to write that in words, so obviously the answer would be 994, making sure that we write our answer in words. Okay, our next question. So the next question says, we've got a list of numbers 21, 72, 27, 34, and 93. And we've been asked to find the sum of the odd numbers. So let's have a look at the numbers. We have got 21, that's odd. We have got 72, that's even. We've got 27, that's odd. 32, that's even. And 93, that's odd. So we're going to find the sum of the odd numbers. So let's write them in a column and add them up. So 93, 27, and 21. We're going to add them together and see what we get. So 3 plus 7 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so put the 1 down, carry a 1. 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 2 is equal to 13, plus another 1 is 14. So the answer is 141. And the next question says, find the product, so that's what you get when you multiply, the even numbers. So here we've got our two even numbers, 72 and 32, so we're going to need to multiply them together. So we're going to do 72 multiplied by 32. So again, write them in a column. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 7 is equal to 14. Now we're going to multiply 72 by 30, so put the 0 down. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 7 is 21. And then we're going to add them together. 4 plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 6 is 10, so put the 0 down and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and 2. So the product of the even numbers of our 72 and 32 would be 2,304. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, work out the difference or find the difference between a third of 24 and a quarter of 20. So first of all, let's find a third of 24. So to find a third of a number, you divide it by three. So we're gonna do 24 divided by three, and 24 divided by three would be equal to eight. Next, we're gonna work out a quarter of 20, and to find a quarter of a number, you divide it by four. So it's 20 divided by four, which is equal to five. And we've been asked to find the difference between them, so we just take away these two numbers. So eight take away five is equal to three. So the next question says, Marvin buys four rulers at 87 pence each. Work out the total cost. So we're gonna to need to do 87 multiplied by four. So 87 multiplied by four. And when we do that, we get, well, four times seven is 28. So put the eight down, carry the two. Four times eight is 32, plus two is 34. So the answer would be three pound 48. And finally, we're asked, how much change does he get from 20 pound? So 20 pound, well, I'm gonna write that in pence, 2,000, subtract three pound 48, so that's 348. And when we do that, we get, well, we're gonna do zero take away eight, well, we can't add, so we're gonna need to borrow. We've got a zero and then another zero. So let's cross off the two, call it a one, call that a 10, cross that off, nine, bring the one over, cross it over, nine, bring it over. 10 take away eight is two, nine take away four is five, 9 take away 3 is 6, and 1 take away 0 is 1. So the answer would be £16.52. And that's it.